Hey everybody, I wanted to uh, record a quick video about some features that are new to the Roland Voice Transformer VT3 with the latest firmware update. A lot of people buy devices, they may not stay on top of the firmware updates, or they may update the firmware but not really take time to read the release notes and understand what's going on. Uh, two things that showed up in the latest release, which is version... 1.1 of the VT-3 firmware is a noise gate and also a low cut filter. That's not the main reason that you would buy a voice transformer VT-3. This uh, also um, has a number of other effects um, that can apply to your voice and that probably would be best left for another video. Now if we go into the Roland website, go to support and go to the knowledge base and search on VT3, we can find the a document that talks about the features and this is much better than the release notes that came with the driver. So if you're like me and you do videos uh, in your home, there may be sources of noise. There could be fan noise from your PC, I've got a ceiling fan that's on. Um, it could be something like a refrigerator or a mini fridge or you know a Bitcoin mining machine. There could be things in the background that are going to create noise. Now traditionally, without some sort of noise gate, when you stop talking, you hear background noise, right? And you use a noise gate and you set a level, sort of like a squelch knob on a radio so that until the noise exceeds that value zero sound comes in from the mic on the input and then when it breaks that value then it opens up and you hear what's going on now one of the ways that this can be done can be done through software in your recording software if you're using OBS studio like I am you can use the power of your CPU your computer to put various processing and filters uh, and other effects on your audio, including a noise gate, right? So if you've got that set up and it's working fine for you, then, then no big deal. But it does use processing power. A hardware uh, built into the hardware uh, noise gate is a way for this to work. And in my case, there's times when I'm using the mic and I'm not I'm not running OBS. I use the same microphone for um, recording audio. If I'm working in Reaper, um, I use the same microphone. If I'm uh, doing a video conference call, a Skype call, or a Google Hangouts call, I use the same microphone. If I'm streaming up to Twitch, and I may or may not be using OBS. I have a Blue Yeti Pro that's sitting about two feet away from me, right over here on my computer desk, just in a regular normal household. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna add the noise gate in, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna hold down the bypass button, and I'm gonna turn this center character knob until I see the meter in OBS essentially blank. So if you notice there, I, I the direct light came on, auto pitch one, auto pitch two, vocoder and synth came on. So one, two, three, four, five around the dial until I saw the meter fall out. So now I'm gonna stop talking. And you notice that while I stopped talking, there was no background noise coming through. I'm also going to go to the low cut filter and I'm gonna see how that uh, might work as well. And let's play with the low cut filter. So we're gonna press character, the, use the character knob, 
and the robot button. Let's try putting on the noise gate um, and instead of going to synth, let's go to vocorder, which is one, two, three, four, and then throw on the no the low cut and see if we can cut down the setting on the noise gate, but by combining it with the low cut, still achieve the, the desired effect. And that's sort of an interesting setting. What I did was I cut the low cut filter on and put it on the one, two, three, the fourth position. And I have the noise gate on the fourth position. And what I see now is when I stop talking, I get in just a teeny little bit of uh, movement down on, the, uh, down on the mic. So I still think I need to set my noise gate up one more. And there, when I stop talking, the noise gate remains closed and the background noise isn't triggering it. If you have a Roland VT3 and you haven't updated the firmware, you might want to so that you can take advantage of more memories, the ability to back up and restore the contents, as well as the ability to use the low cut and the noise gate. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe.